YouTube, how the hell are you? It's your boy Mr. Ismi coming at you today with another video. This is a Flashback Friday video back to AW. Uh, this is actually a recent video though. I haven't played it since like uh, Black Ops 3 dropped, probably since a couple, about a month or so before Black Ops 3 dropped, actually, because I never really liked Advanced Warfare. But uh, I hopped on with a couple buddies uh, about a week ago or so, and I had a really good game, probably better than I ever had when the game was the current title. So I thought, you know, I'd put that footage to use. Uh, and while we're on the topic of Advanced Warfare, there's something that's been going on in the Call of Duty with Black Ops 3 community um, that has been sparking up quite a controversy lately, and I thought I'd touch on it since, you know, a lot of other people are. And that's the introduction of a pay-to-win system uh, in Black Ops 3. Now, of course, when I'm talking about pay-to-win, I'm talking about supply drop openings and, and the, uh, the new weapons that are OP as hell and have just recently been introduced to the game. Okay. So they introduced these weapons in case you haven't, re like, you know, a handful of guns, a handful of melee weapons, if you guys have been living under a rock, that everybody wants. They're super crazy OP. Um, I wouldn't say super crazy OP. Some of them are. Um, but the, the idea that they're really rare, and the only way that you can get them is not through ranking up or anything like that. It's strictly through supply drops. Um, now... This is kind of sketchy to me because this wasn't introduced until the time that they introduced microtransactions into the game by way of purchasing COD points, similar to buying advanced supply drops on Advanced Warfare. Ring a bell? Um, now, if someone, you know, if anybody remembers back watching those videos, those opening videos back in the days, you'd have people opening hundreds of supply drops at a time in order for the next rare and overpowered gun in Advanced Warfare. Uh, much like today, if you were to turn on, you know, a big YouTuber or a small YouTuber or almost any Call of Duty Black Ops 3 YouTuber uh, or, you know, most streamers, um, they'll be doing the same thing. They'll be spending a shit ton of money on COD points. We're talking thousands and thousands of COD points because it's 200 for every rare supply drop. And you can only use the COD points on rare supply drops. Um, so you're talking about people buying, you know, a couple hundred dollars worth of invisible currency, intangible make-believe currency for intangible make-believe weapons on the game they already pay money to play and pay money monthly to play online. Uh, I'm just totally, I think it's a greedy move, by the way, of Activision and Treyarch, um, to do something like this when they told us... When the game was coming out that they were going to have a drop system uh, for loot and things like that nature, they said it was all going to be strictly cosmetic. There was not going to be any unbalanced, game-breaking, pay-to-win advance like, at advantages that would come from purchasing these supply drops. And I'm going to call bullshit on that, Treyarch, because uh, everybody I've spoken... I don't have any of them, for example, because I haven't purchased any COD points. I've only used crypto keys, and the reason that I say only have used crypto keys and I haven't gotten anything is because everybody that I've talked to and every video that I've watched from whether they're big YouTubers like like freaking T Martin and and people like that, or small YouTubers alike uh, that are doing these opening videos on the hunt for these new weapons, these new rare weapons or whatever, have only gotten these by way of using COD points. Not by using their crypto keys. We're talking about people that will have 4,000 crypto keys saved up and they won't touch any of them and will only use COD points. And those COD points are what, op when they open the supply drops, gets them these rare weapons. And I've seen people go through, you know, opening 10 crates and getting all six or whatever, however many it is. And to me, that's an automatic red flag. Because um, I haven't talked to a single person. I'm talking people that in my chat friends of mine that have the weapons uh i've you know i've i've reached out to youtubers on twitter i've spoken to randoms in lobbies um you name it i've done it because i've been curious about this for a while and i didn't want to open my mouth at first because i didn't want to just pop off with some you know inaccurate bs um but i honestly think that we are straight lied to as a community um and it's just a way and, and i kind of knew with the success as far as a business goes, as far as the the financial gains and profitable like success that uh, Sledgehammer had and Activision had with the advanced war the advanced supply drops, um, I knew that it was going to go that route, and I, I'd said it months ago, and I was like, well, they said they didn't, so I wanted to bite my tongue and wait it out and see, um, and if, sure enough, you know, it'd be stupid as a business not to instate something like this, and that's not. 
why I'm making this video, more so the fact that I think it's not fair that we were lied to. Um, I think that to counterbalance this, if it truly is uh, just coincidence or whatever, um, and you can get these with crypto keys, I think that there should be something kind of like how there was like, say you could unlock 10 minutes or 20 minutes of rapid supply drops in Advanced Warfare. I think you should be able to earn, you know, if you do well in the game, go on a certain streak or something that you get 10 minutes or 20 minutes of double crypto keys in your game or something like that. Uh, some way to offset that you don't have to be spending money to unlock these guns that they said are free, they say don't have an advantage. If they didn't have an advantage, you wouldn't have to spend money for them, folks. There's no such thing as a free lunch. Remember that. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, also, you know, leave a thumbs up if you like the video, if you want more videos like this. Uh, as always, my name is Mr. Ismail. I do hope you enjoyed the video. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think. Are, is this pay to win? Are we being scammed? Um, my name is Mr. Ismi. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.